This conference will now be recorded. Hello, everyone. Uh, in this session of uh, our App Files tutorials, we are going to uh, enter the required information into the file. Um, and we're going to start off with um, making sure that this section right here of your app file has your name as uh, stated before. Um, this is where the information is going to pull from at the end of your transaction when you request a disbursement authorization. Now we're going to go ahead and click on edit and any of these buttons will take you to the information section uh, where all of the fields are fillable, starting with the buyer information. So in this first field, you will enter both names as you see on the screen. And then we're going to separate them. Now under the buyer email, you will enter uh, John Smith's email address. the same for buyer number two. Okay. Under listing and contract information and dates, and here uh, we are going to show you how to import from the MLS uh, the information you will need. So we're going to click on import from my Florida regional MLS. Oops. And we're going to improvise here uh, real quick. Sorry, guys. Just gonna pick any listing here. Okay, so you will paste the MLS number, search. We're gonna choose that property address now. Under the main property address, this first field, you wanna fix this so it's all in one line. And then down below is where you would separate the street address, the city, uh, state, zip, county, etc. And it should import all of these fields directly from the MLS. And we're going to click I acknowledge, start import. And we're going to continue on with the uh, rest of the information. And I'm going to do the same thing. Click on import values. Regional. Paste the MLS number. Choose. I acknowledge. And you will continue to do the same thing down the line. Title company, this is very important, guys. This is where all of this information is imported into your uh, disbursement authorization at closing. So if the title company email address for the closer is missing, we're not able to send the authorization to the title company. So let's just enter. And 
once you click the close button, you will see all of the information you've just entered into your file. And that, folks, is how you enter the information into your file. Now follow my uh, next tutorial to know and learn how to import the information you just entered into your forms. Thank you. This conference will now be recorded.